We're in. We're in. Maybe. Don't lay. Hey, let's not get our hopes up too high. But here we go. Let's not get our hopes up too high. But here we go. Here we go. You got, you got kicked? Yeah, that's probably gonna happen to me too. Let's let's just savor every screen that we get that's not the title screen. You'll be able to try out another character at the end of the tutorial, but if you want, you can change your mind. So here's Wingrave, the War Master. The most, you guys mind if we go over this? The most sturdy of the Wayfinders, able to support and heal his team while smiting foes in melee combat. Turn this down to teens. Teens. All right. So he has Righteous Strike. Performs a powerful radiant strike. Incoming damage is reduced by 25% while performing the ability and hitting an enemy will cause an explosion of healing and energy to heal Windgrave and nearby allies. Cooldown refreshed upon using a melee finisher. So this guy is obviously going to be who we start with. I don't necessarily love the sort of tank healer hybrid like archetype starting point for me, but he's going to be our guy. I think. Uh, the other guys look really cool too though. Remember, you're picking a character and they get all this stuff. They get all this stuff, but you can change whatever weapon you want. You used to have a starting weapon, it doesn't really matter, right? Because you, you always get to change your weapons. So when we look at the rogue and other guy, kind of like engineer range guy, remember, you can use a two-hander on these guys if you wanted to, which we're going to be doing. Um, so Radiant Pulse performs, or forms a divine shield that blocks projectiles and grants a defense boost to allies standing behind the shield. When the shield forms, it sends out a Radiant Pulse, dealing damage to enemies in front of the shield. That's pretty good. This guy just seems like a face roll beast, truly. Judgment marks enemies for judgment. Anyone um, hitting a judged enemy will restore their own health. Yeah, I mean, it's OP. He's just healing like crazy constantly. Um, Divine Aegis creates a powerful barrier that protects Windgrave and all enemy or all allies inside of it, making them immune to all damage and healing them over time while standing in the barrier. Okay. And then uh, melee finishers heal Windgrave and one nearby ally. Gotcha. Interesting. So you get like, so you get one ability based off of your weapon. I think and it's 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 like you get so there's a different types of sword and shields and those different swords and shields will give you different abilities I'm pretty sure so Vanguard for example forged by the legendary smith torn iron tongue his smithy was raised in the maze wars but his legacy remains the mighty weapon so there's all this like like mention of lore and it's just like I don't think that actually like plays into the game which is great I hate lore playing Baldur's Gate 3 is like a really like like masterpiece of a game incredible like if you like that kind of stuff it's the best game to come around for that in a long time i hate reading i hate talking to people i just want to go kill stuff so uh, this is good for me anyway this thing performs a power bash performs a powerful shield bash that does massive impact and high guard break damage power increases for each latent power pit consumed okay this is like an mmo light so it's going to be a lot of instanced dungeon farming to upgrade your character and upgrade your gear, which I'm down. And maybe like boss killing too. So that's cool. That's cool. Let's have some fun. Silo. He uses gadgets. He's a survivalist. He uses gadgets and bombs to slow ignite or taunt enemies, overcoming his foes with tactics and style. Able to combo his bombs for additional effect. His abilities allow him to stay effective even at range. So I could, I could happily play this guy. Because you have like the you have like the the pop out of combat, throw all your bombs, all your slows, all your stuff, and then dive in and like melee attack too. Action MMO, yeah, kind of like um, wild. Uh, well, it looks like a little bit like Wildstar, but it, I think it plays more like Warframe, um, Destiny. I've heard too. I haven't gotten to the quest part, or we're just we, I finally got to this menu, so now we're kind of soaking it up a little bit. I'm gonna read up all, all this stuff. Talk about the characters. Talk about the dudes. Pretty sure we're starting Windgrave. That's just kind of my guy. Like, get up in there. But I think that it's so neat that you can play all the characters with all their abilities with any weapons. So you're going to have some some serious uh, options when it comes to playing your character. Uh, so he has Firebomb. Toss a Firebomb that ignites enemies, dealing damage over time. Causes a chain reaction with Oil Bomb, resulting in a large explosion. Oil Bomb is an ability that leaves a pool of oil in front of Silo, slowing enemies. Enemies directly hit by the bomb are also oiled. They get oiled up. Uh, remaining uh, slowed even after leaving the oil pool and taking additional damage when ignited by firebomb. 
This also refreshes a charge of firebomb, so you could firebomb, oil bomb, firebomb. Very cool. Melee silo sounds awesome to me, actually. It really does. Proto clone. Uh, you dash backwards, leaving behind a clone that pulls near enemies in. The clone will taunt your enemies into attack until it expires. Gotcha. Proto clone. Zoop. Firebomb. Oil bomb. Firebomb. You see that combo right there? Sucks everybody in. And you can probably dash back in. Smash them with melee weapons. Probably pretty cool. Yeah. So Arc Nemesis Silo sends out an an egg to shock all enemies. And obviously, it's like it's an acronym. To shock all enemies in the area, dealing a burst of damage, but Egg remains in the area for a short time, slowing and damaging nearby enemies. Great. And so his passive is Strategic Advantage, deals 10% bonus melee and range damage, uh, or standard shot damage to enemies that are debuffed. I wonder, does that stack? That'd be crazy if it stacked. His starting weapon is Ransom, an infamous highwayman's Dusk and Dodge is the first to carry Ransom. Oh, that's the guy's name, Dusk and Dodge. Uh, it has many, uh, it's had many wielders since then. Scoundrels, everyone. So it has scatter shot, fires multiple projectiles in a blast while evading backwards. Consumes one locked and loaded charge. Okay. This guy seems really cool to play melee, truly. Let then we have Nis. She also looks awesome. Lots of dashes. She's an arcanist. Elusive Master of Shadows, manipulating gloom to destroy her foes while darting on the battlefield. Okay, she has Shadow Step, you dash in a line, dealing damage along the way. After a short delay, a Gloom clone will dash from your initial position to you, dealing damage to enemies that passes through. So you dash, it does damage, and then another da a Shadow Dash comes through as well. Who knew? Big flex for the 17 months. What's this game? It's, it's awesome looking. It looks great. It looks really, really good. Kind of like an MMO light, a little action RPG MMO light, so. Looks really cool. Looks right up my alley. So her Umbral Aura, Nis is empowered by Umbral Magic, causing her next three dodges to pierce an enemy, a nearby enemy with shadow. Nearby enemies, oh, what the heck. Nearby allies are also empowered for one dodge. Oh, so should, that'd be kind of fun to have her in the party. Everybody's dodged around doing shadow clones. Vengeful Shade, you briefly become immune to attacks while damaging enemies around her. Following up with a lighter heavy attack causes her to slam back down further damaging enemies. Following with a dodge causes her to backflip away. Okay. Gloom Shroud for 10 seconds. Shadow Step can be used at no cost. So she's just got just dashes for days. I, I probably already had an uh, account with Digital Extreme just from playing Warframe. All right. And Endo, Radaloo, thank you so much for the five subs, man. Big flex for you and big flex for all those five gifted subbies. Thank you guys. Yeah, lots of dashes. Um... So after dodging, gain AP for 5 seconds, after 3 times, okay. So you're just like spamming your dashes, getting a bunch of extra damage. And she starts with Slicer and Dicer. A traditional weapon of the Shrike Smugglers. As sharp as the Talons of their namesake, and that does a Steel Volley. Spins and throws daggers in a large radius around the Wayfinder. Can you imagine how fun this class would be with like a big 2 handed weapon? Just, just dodging all over the place. While swanging. This, this is as far as we've gotten so far. Silo sounds awesome. Nis sounds awesome. I am ready to serve. Wingrave, I, I, the thing is, he just looks so cool, and it's just such a clear choice. He's just kind of like a tanky dude. But that sounds good to me. the The cool thing, the cool thing is, the cool thing is, the idea on the game is going to be leveling and playing different characters and different weapons and trying different combos. So. You start with one guy, and you're going to grind up resources to unlock other characters, is what I, it sounds like to me. So, you kind of pick one, and then you use that one character to farm other characters. So, that's awesome. All right, so thanks for the Prime Man. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, dude. I think we're going to start with Windgrave. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I kind of want to play in controller, too. Let's at least test him out. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's, that's cool. So, we might get booted at any point, but we're going to enjoy playing it while we can. And, uh... The game probably looks awesome in ultra wide. Hope you guys don't mind me playing in ultra wide. I have an ultra wide monitor. I, I just love it. It's just so nice. Here we go. We lived in an age of wonders. How's the volume, guys? You good? We wove magic into steel and shaped the elements with our words. And yet, even in this golden age, it will be free. There were stories right now. It's early access, paid. Falling to darkness. Get on Steam. Force reaching from the shadows. So we're on board to start, probably, yeah. I want to play that character, that barbarian lady. Believe them. 
We're gonna play everything, for us. I think, is how this goes. I'm so excited for this game. I've been looking forward to it so much. The beacons had always been a part of our world. I've been so much looking forward to this game. We never knew who created them. And I, I'm so glad to have you guys here, sharing it with me. It's gonna be such a fun day. As long as we get to stick online. At least for a little while. Uh oh. Were we never concerned about the big giant portal before? Oh no. Are those shrikes? They have the shrike daggers. Defenseless. Like a guild, can you? We must get to the beacon. This is foul magic. Sign up, clear a path. Clear a path, I'm going in. Horns, anger issues. Remind you of anyone? Shut up and fight. <laughs> yeah. She's getting it in. I like the music too. There are too many. Make for the gate. Yeah, we'll see, Lewis. I've heard people make it to the tutorial and get kicked out. We'll see. This is my first time ever been able to play the game, so we're gonna soak it in. What now? Now, Wingrave. I'm starting with Wingrave. Light the beacon. The game will be free in six months. Somehow, these markings. I'll play it. I'll, we'll see you what you this? think. But I'm gonna, some time. If I have my way, I'm going to be focusing on this game with my content for the next little while. So, make sure you follow on Twitch, make sure you subscribe on YouTube, and we crank out the content. This game looks like a lot of fun. I, I do want to try different classes and stuff. We'll start with Windgrave, and then you, you unlock other guys over time. Oh, snap! We're getting sliced up. Oh no! Your gods are dead. <laughs> Your world is ours. Okay, I want to play as that guy. <laughs> Forget all these other guys. I want to. I want to play as that dude. I don't think he's a nice guy. He's just like, your gods are dead. <laughs> yeah, I like that guy. Yeah, let me play as that guy. Oh, nice, crispy. Roll on B. This game is already knows what's up. Jump on A, this game already knows what's up. Basic attacks. Oh, and then you press LB to pick your abilities? Okay, I get down with that. What does this do? I might trigger his block. But R doesn't do anything yet. R bumper doesn't do anything yet. Okay. I don't th I think I might want to change the keybind. I might want to make, uh, I, I know this is going to be annoying, but I need to change some things real quick. We're doing Fantasy Star Online controls, boys. I love Fantasy Star Online so much. Okay, we don't. We're not using a rifle. Um, and I've been looking for a game that's like Fantasy Star Online forever. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh yeah, Arthur Falcor, big flex for you. Thank you so much, dude. I've been looking for a game that's like Fantasy Star Online since Fantasy Star Online. And this this one is looking pretty close. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, I want to swap LB and L and I know I want to swap it for R. So I'm gonna do this combo. Like, can I do this? Does that work? Let's see. And we gotta find a way to do this. I want this and this together. It won't let me do that. Okay. So why don't we just do this? Can I not do that, you think? I want to I want it to I want my modifier button to be L. I don't know if it let me do it. We'll see. Finish our online. Yep. 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 It's not it's just not let me do it. I mean, I can figure it out, but I want to, I want to, it, it, it makes way more sense for it to be on the L button or the R button. Know what I mean? Let's try this. I want this to go to the trigger 
I don't think it's gonna let me do it. Dang. Wait a second. Oh. No, no, no. Not that. R. It's still... Oh, okay, so there might be a way to do this. I gotta try to figure out how to... for the game to let me do what I want to do. I'm not sure it's going to. But I gotta, I gotta figure it out. Are we for interact? It's not my, not my first choice, but I'm trying to figure out how to make this game let me do what I want to do with my controls. I want to, I want to make it R trigger as the modifier and then X. But I guess we could do it. Maybe I could try it with R bumper. It still says LB no matter what I do. Okay. Well, then I'll just let it chill then. That's that's some feedback we can provide at some point. Whatever. What does it do back to defaults? Whatever. Let's just play. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Now, is there a button to center my camera? Sorry, lady. Lock on his R trigger. I kind of. I kind of want to like snap the camera to my guy. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, take the shard, brother. I remember. I am Harless Wingrave. Maybe that's some. Maybe that's some feedback I can provide. A warrior. To the game. Archon, is to allow us to use different the uh, parts of the controller the for modifiers. And to vanquish the forces of evil. How much time has passed? I think I think it does make sense, Drew. I'll, I'll fiddle with it. I think since we're in, we should just play a little, and then I'll fiddle with it later. Monsters. Now, it seems that the Empire has been swallowed up by this. Just enjoy the being able to play real quick. Architects themselves may have fallen. Oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be a two-handed weapon swinging guy for sure. And I will fight to protect those who survive. I like this guy's voice acting. Getting booted from Q. Yeah, we're probably going to get booted at some point, but while, while we can play, then I, I'd like to. There's no time to explain. You're trapped within the gloom. But with that shard, you can cut through the shadows. You must okay. move quickly. I will guide you as best I can. Yeah, I don't really want to play a tank, but this guy just looks sick. Like his armor and everything. This looks awesome. The game looks beautiful. Look at the flames, too. It's kind of like, like, um, like animated, like cartoon animated. Do you guys mind playing an ultra wide? Is that is that cool? I love ultra wide. Chop, chop. What's my heavy attack? Yeah. Oh dang. I'm like charge it up too. Oh dang. Bucky, big flex for you, man. Thanks so much for the 50 months, man. Torchlight, yeah, like. Like, like colorful, stylized graphics, yeah. Yep. Sprint. So sprint is a toggle? Okay. There is double jump. Dude, you, you come out of that dodge? Quick. That, that is crispy. How many, how many dodges do I have? Oh, I, I have a, you have a stamina bar down there, okay. Yeah, you, it's very snappy. You come out of that dodge, swing it. And you can like cancel stuff with your dodge too. Oh, that's nice. You can do an aerial dodge, you, you can dodge out of your jump too. That's nice. Could try it on mouse and keyboard too, but I, I like, um, I like, I've been enjoying playing controller games recently. Plus, you can spin really nicely. Let's see. We could play. I mean, I don't know. We could play a little bit of this too. Could. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna play control a little bit more. 
It feels super good on controller. And again, I've always been like wanting to have a game like Fantasy Star Online that we could play. Yeah, the, the combat does feel really smooth. It's good. Latent power. Blocking and hitting enemies, but latent power. Use a shield slam to let it rip. Okay. Have I built some latent power yet? They're doing some kind of dot to me. I can get latent power by attacking, too. They put like a little thing above their head when they're gonna attack you. LBRB get does my little shield slam. I want like a button I can press to like snap my camera to me. Pretty cool. And Kamesh, big flex for the two months, man. Thank you, thank you. Get some good vibes of classic MMO style game. Yeah, it's very beat em up action RPG. There's my LBRB. Weapon of power. That's cool. The controls for a controller feel very like intentional and good. Linux said big flex for the prime type of game. Is this? It's like a it's like a action MMO beat em up dungeon crawler, upgrade your guy, get loot, upgrade, you know, make uh, like more characters to play. Kind of thing, right? Attacks. Ooh, with the, the sneak around. Yeah, I haven't used any of my abilities yet. Might want to do that, huh? Just been basic attack and stuff. Can I get up there? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we're we're in the tutorial right now. Some people get kicked out of the tutorial, so. Oh, okay. Right, we, we already read all that. Got our passives, weapon abilities, charge faster. I have additional 20 stamina and restore some resilience with each roll. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. Here's how it's telling me to dash. It's like double jump is. Oh, so you can double jump and dash. Okay, cool. I hope, yeah, PvP will be amazing, eventually. Slice. Got a, something over here. So. That's a big boy. I can lock onto him. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. You won't get to. What do you want me to do? LBB? I think I did that. This guy's getting at work right now. Oh. Okay. That guy just got that work. My goodness. Stab that thing. That was clean. Here we go. Uh. Well, I, I was... I was hoping maybe we could experiment, um, but no, this is our guy. This is our guy. This is our dude. All right, well, if we get kicked out, RIP, boys. Hit no. Yeah, should we, we should probably should have tried other characters, huh? Yeah, we probably should have tried other characters. We're about to get booted. I'm just in rhythm. I just want to play more, but that actually may have gotten us in trouble. We'll see. Folks that hit no often got kicked out and had to read the tutorial. Okay. We're taking our chances that we can actually progress. Oh. Okay. Okay. Looking good so far. Hey, there's peoples. 
There's people who are logged in. Oh, there's a bunch of PlayStation people, maybe. What's up, dudes? What's up, everybody? We're wayfinding. Nice. What's up, guys? How's it hanging? Talk to Omen. Who that? Where's Omen? Oh. This guy. What's up, everybody? I have a. Oh, he didn't have a 200 yet. Yeah. The stylized graphics and everything are looking so nice. I love graphics like this. How's it look on the ultra wide, man? It looks gorgeous. And the actual like on my monitor itself. I always get a little bit um, nervous that ultra wide's not as good for uh, viewership, like for, for like from a, from a viewer perspective. But it's so nice to play on. Hope you guys don't mind. I don't think it's PvP yet, no. Okay. It is level up. So good to see Looks amazing. Again. Yeah, it does. I good. thought we'd lost you forever. A little cinematic view for you guys. Yeah, we should be able to do the open world uh, zone. Your memories will return. The Until voice acting is excellent. That battle took place a year ago, and you were lost in the I'll turn up a little bit. We've been trying to Exclamation mark monitor link it for you. Sorry, I'm just gonna skip a little bit of this audio, unfortunately. The Eldrin attack was a distraction. The beacon was always the target. We pushed past them and found the creature who Basically, was leading girl, the attack. Yeah. And you did what needed to be done. Jerry. You fought to the bitter end. And your sacrifice bought me the time we needed. There's so much we don't yet know about the beacon. That's fine. Its power protects this city. It destroyed yeah, our enemies lots of dungeons. and stopped yeah. the gloom tear from expanding. Big dungeon farm. We couldn't close the gloom gate. I'm not sure, Crypto. But as long as the beacon remains lit, our enemies can't pass through it. It's lit. And in the year that followed, we've studied it, learned more about this gloom, learned how to bring you back. We survived thanks to you. Yeah, you got to get the early access pack. But the damage is done. Skylight is safe and the land around it. But beyond the highlands, reality is collapsing into the gloom. Uh -oh. There may be other beacons, other places that repel the invaders. The only the way to find out is to cut a path through the gloom. And for that, we need wayfinders. We need you. Count me in. That's hype. We need wayfinders. Your cool. sacrifice and that of the others bought me the time I needed to light the beacon. Good job, Omen. And the beacon's light holds the gloom at bay. It's the only reason we're alive. We still don't know. A year ago, the Eldrin attacked us and we extinguished can learn what the, gloom is the beacon. A little bit. And it was then that the gloom began to spread. It corrupts and consumes reality. The beacon protects us. But beyond its light, the gloom has swallowed the world, leaving only shadows and chaos. It's okay. We'll handle it. We don't know if anyone else has survived. You survived in the gloom. You can do it again. With the tools you've been given, you can cut through its shadows. You must be a wayfinder. I can we do it. We still know so little about the gloom. I can do it. And so much of the world has been lost to it. We need you to enter the lost zones to find a path through the shadows. You've been through an ordeal. Okay. I shouldn't. The lost zones like the name for the dungeons, I think. It's best you see what's left of Skylight and meet other seekers. You were Down. a seeker once. You've just forgotten. Before the gloom okay. fall, we investigated ancient mysteries. Now it's the seekers who are working to keep Skylight and its people alive. Where to? Go to the Great Hall, up above the plaza. Wolf will want to meet you. We'll talk again okay. after you've met with him and Lord Halar. I just want to do some battle. TBH.
Where am I headed? Can I track that? Let's figure it out. I want to go to that. Great hall's over there. Okay. Off we go then. Cool. What is this game? Well, I just started it. So I don't know a whole lot more than what I saw on YouTube videos. But it's like a, an MMO with, a, with you know, heavy action combat based around um, particular characters that have their own, like, personality and role in the story and, like, set skills. And you unlock these characters almost like uh, you unlock characters in a Warframe. And then they can all equip any weapon, which also kind of changes their skills just a little bit and play style. So you can play a variety of different characters with a variety of different weapons. And you're going to be grinding dungeons, upgrading your stuff, kicking butt. Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, like Warframe. Yeah. Welcome, Wayfinder. You honor us with your presence. Yeah, this guy looks like, like a I berserker kind of dude. I don't want to play that. Attack, just as you did. But it was your sacrifice yeah. that saved That's Scarlet. Good. PP would be great. Yep. Yeah, so we got uh, the... Uh, let me let me double check just to be clear. I think it was the... Uh, the Awakened Edition from Digital Extreme. So thank you, Digital Extremes, once again for providing the key. There's, Oof, there's a skip button there is. Before the fall, I was an officer of the... I feel like I should listen to it at least a little bit. Now I command our forces, such as they are. Yes, it does. There are all too many threats. You, you get access Tracks, with, uh, with any sort of early access. But you'll see I believe. for yourself soon enough. We will have much to discuss in the days ahead. I've been turbo we'll excited for this game. Soon enough. It's right up my alley. So much of Skylight was the lack of PP is definitely attack. like I wish we had PvP, the but are um, as quickly as they can. this kind of game has been really fun for me recently. Voice acting is really good. Yeah. You have more important work ahead of you, but for now, find Lord Halar outside of the Great Hall. He'll get you ready for the tasks. At Love. Yeah, I just want to fight. I just want to go fight stuff. Lord Halar. What a wonderful vibe this game has already. I'm digging it. He's a magician, huh? The new wayfinder. No. I am Lord Hale. Hello. As you know, my lands and the Dominion itself have been swallowed by the gloom. But even now, especially now, names matter. I lead the Arcanists among the Seekers. By necessity, we have focused our efforts on restoring Skylight. But it is my studies of the gloom that can help you. I do kind of like this, Not uh, my knowledge of like, dialogue set up here. Instead of this, just, like, standing here to have him talk at you, kind of go into, like, this almost, like, comic book-looking thing, right? What we know certain is that it's the good. gloom alters flora and fauna, and never for the better. Where it lingers, it can consume entire regions, leaving yep. only shadows in the gloom. What we call lost zones. You were consumed by the gloom. Consumed but you by the gloom. Now you have the power to shape it. Nice. To some degree. The shard you've been given focuses this gift. Only okay. a wayfinder can enter a lost zone. Looking good. This is just a glimmer of your This game is gonna be free, but it's not free for if early access right now. Your will upon the gloom, Don't talk to Vendor too much? Yeah, I just wanna get to the PvP. But, or the, the PvE. But good to know. We we'll get kicked out potentially. Yeah, we gotta watch out for that. But I can only No kicked out, please. Just play. Omen can show you. Return to her near the gloom gate, Wayfinder. Okay. She will guide you in the next steps of your journey. Nice. Looks like there's like a half decent variety of like what characters people are picking, right? <laughs> so You've spoken with Ready. Lord Halar. Send me to battle. Questions. What is this dude? The best way for you to understand the gloom is to experience it for yourself. Who's that guy? That purple dude over there. You see him? You can absolutely play on a team, but right, right now there's like three player parties, I believe. The gloom is consuming our world. But I think later's gonna be raids and stuff. Holds it at bay. That guy looks cool. Was lost before it was lit. Beyond skylight. You will find breaches where the gloom has ripped away pieces of our cool. world. 
Using the focusing shard, you can pass through breaches to reach a shadow of what Because I, I like this character that we picked, but I kind of want to play the Barbarian zones. Lady. These are unstable and unpredictable. We'll see. Reflecting what was or what might have been. We're running out of time. I like this guy, though. The gloom is he just, he just looks down cool, defenses, you know? And we don't know how to stop it. We need you to explore the lost zones. To find a way... We do know the large gate behind me is the key. In theory, you can reach okay. any lost zone through this gate. Interesting. In practice... There are, are the prime dudes just kind of like cooler looking or are they more powerful? Usually, you must find and enter a breach directly to access a lost zone for the first time. Okay, right. We have After we have that, to progress through the dungeon. In any other breach you found through this like gate. For like the normal quest, then we can unlock it and do it whenever, I think. That's the idea. So like I'll talk to people. Yeah, we're just getting started though, right? Like sure, surely surely this is just the beginning. Actually, they say it should be in like 6 months, but it's early access right now, so yeah. Yeah, he looks awesome, Ludacris, though, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you can't just stumble into a breach. Oh. Okay. You need a connection to the Lost Zone to guide you through it. This might mean finding an object from the zone, or experiencing mm. an event for now. I have a single connection I can share with you. Send me. The, co the shard you've been using is an incomplete tool. Find a codex. Send me into battle. How do I do that? And the ruins of the gloom gate. You guys ready? Wow, dudes, this is so pretty. I love it. Take a little screenshot real quick. Yes, you, you can wear a two-handed weapon on any class. Isn't that cool? Kind of FPS, silky smooth, ultra graphics, but that is also thanks to... We do have an origin PC, so... This is a lost zone. Okay. It's not a perfect replica of the world that was. It's a dream inspired by what was lost. When you return here again, everything, the layout, the creatures cool. within it, may change. It will be free to play, but it's, it currently this is paid early access. This lost zone is tied to Aurelian. A fortress monastery Think 20 bucks is the, the lowest one of the silver codex the codex monks were conducting arcane research and we need aurelian was raised yes okay it was a miracle stick around a little bit and see if you like it skylight. but like your memories this connection i provided is temporary and unpredictable okay look for i can't guide you when you go deeper to escape you'll need to find the heart of this lost zone explore as thoroughly as you can Okay. We need this. Okay. What's that? Our first waypoint? Okay. Oh. I'm not sure I want to lock on then. Lock it on make my, my, my camera a little bit weirder than I want. Maybe. I'm playing with controllers, so things could gotta get a little bit comfy with this. Oh yeah. Oh, I only have one ability now. Oh, weird. Okay. Got to get used to that. All I have right now is my, like, uh, heal, I think. Collect all this stuff. I might want to make my, like, sort of camera pan a little faster. Not sure what I'm going to do right now, though. Good to know, though. Controller might be the way to go. It just feels like I've been enjoying controller more, you know, in games recently. Just a dad gamer now. I don't know what all this stuff is, but we'll collect it. Okay. I don't think those things have anything in them. Maybe. Yeah, it's pretty, it is. So I think I had a Digital Extremes account already. 
because of playing Warframe at some point. Those guys explode on death. Combat man. Am digging it. Let's try again. Oh, what the? Oh, I was like targeting the guy in the other room. That was weird. He's sticking his butt through the door. Can I open this? I see you. that work oh you guys thought you were big stuff huh yeah, that's what I thought give him that quick work sticking that booty through the door you better watch it let's see what are we looking at here okay Just a little side area oh some treasures though does it do anything nope just getting cash money is nice Okay. It's, it's gonna be free to play. This is early access. But it's supposed to be free to play, yeah. Diablo for kids? Yeah, maybe actually. Maybe. Archer likes Diablo, but this might be better because there's less blood. Uh, six months for the free to play, I think. Yeah. Not yet. I don't mind the kind of cartoony stylized graphics. I actually like really colorful stuff. I like that. Go ahead. I like it. Run along home. I'll be watching you. Wayfinder. Hmm. Gloom lady. Take, I'm gonna take all your loot before I go home though. <laughs> So jumping does not stop your sprint on its own. Nice. Cool. This feels smooth, guys. Like Warframe, I think Warframe's a good, a good uh, comparison. This, he looks a little bit weird. I think it might be ultra wide stretched. Looks a little weird there, that's okay though. Nice. So, almost leveled up my guy. Almost leveled up my weapon. We got some imbuements to use. Got some memory fragments, whatever all this stuff is. Interesting, because I got some echoes. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, you got them shoulders. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I really want to play like the Paladin tank guy, but I do want to play the dude with gigantic plate armor reminds me of Dauntless yeah the, the armor like yeah, clinking does it, it sound really cool it's a very nice touch I agree so sick I don't know how to dye my armor yet or halar this is wolf wait oh lord halar is that that's the magic guy yeah sorry whoops What's up, brother? Welcome back, Wayfinder. I was that was sure smooth. Find your way. That was clean. And with an ember. Good. Good. Let's get to work. 
Okay. A silver codex studied ways to manipulate arcane energies. We can use the ember you recovered from Aurelian to create okay. your green dagger. Oh, right, so I can farm that dungeon, your right? Own connection to the ruins. You see, right. the shard you claimed in the gloom is a rough and imperfect tool. You need to make it a true extension of yourself. A blade okay. that can cut through reality. Use the echo matrix to combine the earth. Okay. Bam, ba -na -na. Okay. All right, so we want to make this thing. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay, so I can't make those yet. The dagger crafted though. Oh, perfectly done. My weapon leveled up. Woven from the pure elements of magic and drawn into reality. Now you have what you need to explore Great. lost zones on your own. Let's review that procedure. To reach a lost zone, you need three things. A breach, a breach a that serves dagger, as an entrance, a, connection. a gloom dagger that can a connection can take the form of an object, such as the ember now bound to your dagger. Or something more abstract, such a as memory a memory or experience. Or experience. <laughs> Any character unlocks it? We might have it, yeah. I'm, I'm just playing for a little bit. You now have a gloom But yes, yeah, so I think we do. Through the ember, have, have like some stuff that we could look at. Holes. Yeah. So, what is it you are missing, Wayfinder? Have you been listening? I have not played any other test phase of this game so far, but uh, it looks awesome and I'm enjoying it so far. Yes, just so. You need to find the point at which this area collapsed. Okay. You must search the highlands for a sheet of gloom energy. Once you've found it, use your dagger to carve a path. Okay. Exp there you are. You get to do the gloom dagger is connected to the beacon of Skyrim. stuff now? Aside from being an invaluable tool for exploring the gloom, I'm, I'm just taking it, also it in, man. allows us to communicate through the link. I do want to craft the barbarian lady, though. A voice in the gloom. Because no, this dude and the barbarian lady me. are probably like I warned you that the connection would the be ones unstable. we're gonna have to play. The Remain big alert. brawler melee I'm dudes. I'm sure it was just some manifestation of the chaos. Lord Halar and I spent much of this last year refining the daggers mm. as we sought to retrieve you from the gloom. But now I need you to return to the Codex halls. We need to know more about the work of the. Our work suggests they were experimenting with a sinister force that may have been the gloom. Oh dear. Decades. As Lord Halar has told you. You must first find the breach tied to the co before okay. you leave Skylake. I need you to bind your dagger to the signal fires here. Once that's done, take the lift down to the Highlands and find Warden Haas. She All right. Before you go, oh, but before you go, before you do that, it's like let me go. Let me go do some more dungeons, man. I'm ready to rock. I'm <laughs> fine. Oh, did I bug out his his voice? Whatever. Maybe it's not all voice acted. The signal fire. Sweet. I think I'm missing. Did I bug something out? Uh oh. Oh, it's opening up a map. Uh, I see what it's trying to do. I see. Oh, we go to the market. Oh, okay. This one? Sorry. I am new here. Thank you. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. Thanks. <laughs> yeah! Alright. Now there's one near the Great Lift as well. Sure. We can go check this place out. Wow. 
What a cool vibe. I think I will actually take that little lift up, it looks like. Get a stained glass in there. Look at that. So cool. Really like that. Under City Vibes, yeah, kinda. Not as grungy. Yeah. Take the lift to the where? Here we go. Oh, look, this game, me too. Me too. Oh my. Ready to go, guys? Here we go. Off to the highlands we go.